everybody what's going on uh, my name is Ed and this is something new I'm starting up um, I am a baseball card collecting newbie um, that's not entirely true I used to collect cards when uh, I was in junior high high school elementary school back in the 80s and 90s um, and we all know how well those cards did um, so I kind of shied away from baseball cards for a long time and <clears throat> Every once in a while, you know, buy packs here and there, get some packs for Christmas, buy a new box of cards. Um, but the market just really confused me. Um, so I just kind of bought some cards, put them away in a box, and didn't really think twice about it. Um, but I'm wanting to get back into it um, a little bit more serious um, as a hobby, um, just for fun for me. So um, I would like to open some packs online. Um, and maybe do some breaks uh, later down the road um, not yet because of, like I said I'm, I'm rather new to all this I'm not really sure how all this works um, so what I'm really hoping for is help from all of you out there in YouTube land you guys that have been doing this for a while you professional uh, collectors uh, professional hobbyists in uh, collecting baseball cards and I'm only interested in baseball cards not uh, any other sports I don't really follow any other sports um, I actually don't even really follow that many other teams in baseball besides the Red Sox. I'm originally from Massachusetts, I'm a long, lifelong Red Sox fan. Um, but I'm getting better, and I think part of that is starting to collect baseball cards again, which will help me um, kind of learn about all these new, young, up-and-coming players. Um, so what I would like to do is I have a few boxes um, of cards here that I'm just going to kind of go through. I'm not going to open any packs um, yet. I have some stuff coming in that I'm going to do on the channel. But I just kind of want to go through the cards that I have, um, see if anything is worth anything, um, to my knowledge. Uh, but as I go through stuff, please comment if you see something that's like, whoa, hey, uh, um, you got something there. And then as I look through stuff, I'll probably ask questions. Hopefully some people will give me some answers. Um, but yeah, that is kind of my hopes for this channel. Um, again, a baseball card newbie here. I really need your help. Um, help me out while you can. Um, I'd love to uh, uh, get it in some on some breaks if you know some good places to do so. Um, big shout outs to uh, Jab's family. Um, I've been watching his videos a bunch over the last few days and um, that's what kind of really inspired me to get back into this. So I did Patreon him, and uh, hopefully it will get some guidance through that channel to help me make my channel uh, even better. Um, again, uh, the main purpose of this channel is for you guys right now to help me out, help me get reacclimated with uh, the baseball card collecting scene, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, I'm just kind of going to start pulling cards out of my boxes here uh, and go through them. Again, stuff from the 80s and 90s that I know aren't good. I'm not going to go through that. Um, but I've bought packs, you know, pretty much every year. Um, and I just really don't know what I have. So, um, like, had no idea I had this Dustin Pedroia card. It looks pretty cool. Um, so, let's just uh, dig in and uh, see what we got here. So, I just kind of grabbed this uh, batch first. Um, this looks like it's a 2016... Tops Heritage Pedroia, so I'll definitely keep that because uh, I love PD. Um, this looks like a authentic signature of uh, Mike Birkbeck, and it looks like it's handwritten, 5,028 of 6,000. So I can't imagine that's worth a whole lot considering it's a 95, and uh, I never heard of them. So uh, uh, yeah, these look like they're. Um, upper deck 2010 upper decks so I don't know what the rookies were like then um, we got Carlos Lee um, Henry Rodriguez uh, star rookie uh, let's just uh, whip through these real quick here like I said if anything pops out give me a shout here's a Derek Jeter I'll go ahead and set that off to the side um, any any players that I know are good players or are Hall of Fame players, what I'll do is I'm going to stick those cards off to the side. 
Uh, what I did several years ago is I had about 30,000 cards. I had two 10, 000, three 10,000 card boxes full of mostly cards from the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and I just went through all of them. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, about uh, several years ago, I took all of my cards and just went through them all uh, and just dumped any commons. So any player that I had never heard of, um, at that point in time, I figured um, the cards are 20 plus years old. If I hadn't heard of them, they probably weren't any good. So um, I gave away probably 20,000 plus cards to a friend uh, for his kids, um, probably even more. I kept all the ones that, that were Hall of Famers or, or players I knew and um, put them off to the side. So, um, so yeah, like there's a Jim Tomey I'll just stick over there. Uh, Cole Hamels. Not sure when his rookie year was. Uh, hopefully you can see these cards okay. Some of these shinier ones are kind of hard to get on camera. Ballpark, Seattle, Washington. I'm assuming that's Safeco Field. Yeah, which is now what T-Mobile Park. Um, so there's done. Um, I'll put those off to the side. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, these looks like more of this um, Topps Heritage 2016. So what's good in that set? Um, um, uh, yeah. Will Myers, um, is that his rookie? No, he came up much earlier than that. Uh, there's a Schwarber, Carl Edwards Jr. rookie stars. Um, Roger Maris flashbacks. Um, I'll set that off to the side. Hector Rondon. Uh, not quite a rookie. I'm guessing the cards, uh, they used to um, say like future stars and stuff on them. I'm gonna assume there's something similar on these newer cards. I know, I'm, I feel like a total noob. That's why I named myself the baseball card newbie because uh, I truly am a noob. I feel like anyways. Um, so here we got some 2016 tops it looks like uh, there's a Chapman I'll throw them over there there's a okay future stars so that's not quite a rookie anybody want a code of some kind I don't know what that is Try to adjust my colors a little bit here real quick. All right, I think maybe that's a little bit better. So here's a Bryce Harper pinnacle. Uh, Bryce Harper's rookie year was what, 2012? So that's probably nothing special. Put it over here. Oh, I see these say rookie cards up here in the corner. So Colin McHugh. Uh, Rob Brantley. I'll try to keep uh, rookie cards now you guys can tell me if they're if they're worth it or not Alan Trammell Hall of Famer so we have a few more cards from that pinnacle set there's a Justin Verlander so it looks like pinnacle does not have a MLB logo licensing um, so yeah Handful here. I'm not sure. This kind of reminds me of those uh, <coughs> like those boxes of cards you can buy at at like Walgreens and stuff. Um, <laughs> that just has like tons of random cards in the box. Uh, it feels like what I have here. So we have here are some. Let's see. These are some '99 Upper Deck. Ellis Burks, Kevin Brown, 
rookie class, Michael Barrett. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, George Lombard. Nope. Uh, Brian McRae, Dante Bichette. Eddie Tobinsey. Wow. Memories. Um, I have a Wade Boggs collection since I'm a Red Sox fan, so I'll take that Boggs out. Some more upper decks. Scott Service, Mickey Morandini, Joe Randa. Star rookie, Jerry Hairston Jr. Throw that over there. Not sure why I created a separate pile for that. Um, oops, I got a couple piles going on here at the same time. Let's see what we got here. We've got uh, Diamond Debuts, Tim Hires. These look like they're 94. So if I haven't heard of them by now, probably not any good. Uh, Armando Reynoso. Let's see. These are 94s. Ramon Martinez, Jeff Bagwell. David Sugi, Harold Reynolds. <laughs> oh, Brett Boone, Walt Weiss, John Jaha. Scott Cooper, he was supposed to be amazing. Shawon Dunstan. I remember when he came up watching WGN in the summer times. It's the only baseball we had. Mm. Brad Ratke, Jamie Moyer, another Shawon Dunstan. All right, here's a star rookies, Roderick Myers. I don't think he made it. Rookie class, Bill Miller. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Fred McGriff. I love that guy. Catcher's interference. This looks like a playing card. Trey Beeman. It's always funny when pitchers have uh, cards where they're batting. It always cracks me up. All right. Well, I can see I probably am not missing much in uh, all these cards I have sitting around. Uh, um, hopefully, this isn't like completely boring. And I'll fast forward through some of this as I'm just kind of going through cards. Brady Anderson, the man that hit 50 home runs one year. Sure. Rookie Rod Henderson. Mark Ferris. I like. I love uh, that. There's a. Uh, name Ferris because when I play MLB uh, the show and you can pick your character's name for like road to the show it's the closest thing to my name so um, my f name is pronounced Ferris in that game because it's close enough <laughs> and I've seen so many Scott service cards it's crazy Probably can't see these. I need to play these a little bit more flat. Rob Dibble. Todd Hollinsworth. Oh, here's some uh, nice uh, 
what were these, 89 Donruss? Bunch of Chris Carpenters. I don't think uh, those are worth much. I don't think anything from those those days were worth much. All right, here we have a whole bunch of cards from the same type, it looks like. Imagine that. That's just crazy talk. Uh, it looks like 93 Fleers. So Luis Gonzalez, I don't remember what his rookie card was. It's a big name out here in Arizona. These are so shiny. I'm trying to get them in that good, good, good lighting. Let me try something real quick here. Yeah, that's better. Ruben Amaro Jr. Why do I know that name? Should I know that name, or am I just making up names? Steinbach, Chido, Mar Chido Martinez. And Caminiti, rest in peace. Man, he was fun to watch play third base. Watched him come up. Um, the Tucson Toros used to be here when they were the minor league system, minor league team for the Astros. So, triple A team for the Astros. So, I grew up going to Toros games and saw Caminiti, Biggio, Bagwell, um, all those guys come up in the minors. Some good times. Bill Doran, too, I think, played for that team. Now, these cards are so hard to read. But there's nobody worth noting, so. It's always fun when you get two of the exact same card right next to each other, right? It's not really funny. Kind of makes you angry. Hey, look. All right, these are some upper or Fleer Ultra from '94. Pat List ass. All right. Those are out of the way. Boop. All right, what do we have here? These all look the same. Ooh, more shinies. Goodness. These are, I don't know, maybe 98. Um, 98. Metal Universe. I'm not sure if they're tops or what. I bet you guys can tell me. Anyways, Jeff Kent, Jeff Cirillo, BJ Suroff, Reggie Sanders, Chuck Knobloch, John Wetland. Steinbach, shiny, shiny, Matt Stairs, Jen Andamans, um, he probably won't be a Hall of Famer, what do you guys think, I'll put him in the pile, Kevin Pokoldovich, Eric Kiros, I don't think he's going to do anything, Scott Rowland, mm, nah, not yet, Fernando Tatis, his his uh, his boys, awesome. Andy Pettit, what was Andy Pettit's rookie year? 
No, no. I'll put him in the pile. He, he may be Hall of Fame material. Got some more Pinnacle. Nineteen ninety four rookie prospect Keith Lockhart. Yeah, I remember him. Rob Butler, future prospect. Julio Franco. Alex Gonzalez. Scott Rowland. A thick card. Fred McGriff. Pudge Rodriguez. Here we go. Paul Canerco. Dodgers. Dina Martinez. What do we have here? Victory. What I need to do is I need to adjust my camera so it's more of an angle, I think. Um Or victory. I don't ever remember victory cards. Michael Barrett, rookie. Mike Mussina. And Jalpena, rookie. Rookie flashback, Jeff Bagwell. Todd Helton's probably going to be a Hall of Famer. What do you guys think? Ooh, that's a fancy Chuck Knobloch. What are these? Pacific Trading Cards, 98. And I can like hardly read the names on these things. That's crazy. Travis Lee. Remember him. That's another Fernando Tatis. See Finley, Omar Vizquel. Johnny Damon. <laughs> Brett Saberhagen with these stadium clubs. One of them. These cards are all over the place, man. <laughs> Ooh, these things are cool. There's another Fernando Tatis. Ruben Mateo, Jermaine Dye. fours again so well, I'm looking at the years because these older ones obviously if I don't know the player or they didn't get good then they're not going to get good <laughs> at this point in time Jose Offerman Ron Karkovice and just reading some of these names just bring back some memories Aaron Seeley Tim Wakefield, yeah. I keep him. I have a Wakefield collection. I 
So a random, what is this, 80, 90 score, 96 score, 90 something score. It's 91 score, I don't know. Future star Lance Dickerson, Bob Walk, Jose Rio, Pat Kelly. What are these? Carolina Mudcats, Austin Menahan, Mel Nevis, Ed Sprague, Rookie Athletics, Ernie Young. Is it just me, or they just seem to get uh, these future stars that they pick on these cards wrong more often than they get them right? This is like a Marlins team set of some kind. Benito Santiago. Old Charlie Huff. Literally, old Charlie Huff. Dave Winfields. Some more like minor league cards. Jimmy Rollins. Lee May, I have this card. I think it's the oldest card I have. It's a 61. Um, I don't know why I have it or where I got it from, but I remember just getting it because it was old. Oh, what are these things? Just 2K. Got some Opeachy 92s, Chris Gwynn. Opeachy 93. Mark Hargrove, manager card. They still do manager cards? I don't know, what are these? Some more minor league cards? Not a whole lot there. Baseball America. I am not even going to try to say his name. Joe Creedy. Nothing there that I know of. Again, if you see something. Please post in the comments and I'll make sure to look. What do we got here? 98 score? Keep switching on which side is the name's on. Martin Klesko. I watched a lot of Braves too um, in the early 90s. Um, again, they were, they were starting to get good. Loved watching Maddox pitch. Um, and we could watch everything on TBS. We didn't have. I couldn't watch Nesson like I can now for the, for the ball games. So that's what we had. And unfortunately, the Red Sox didn't play the Braves and the Cubs back then. So I hardly ever got to see. A Red Sox game. Plus, they were really kind of sucked for the most part <laughs> around that time, so they weren't really um, on the top of ESPN's um, playlist. Oh, look at that, David Ortiz. That's a David Ortiz rookie. <laughs> Check that out. That's pretty sweet. My man, Big Poppy. How funny is that? Look at me, I found something. 
I mean, he's been a Red Sox for a long time. How long ago did I get these that I had no idea who he was when I went through them? That's funny. That is really, really funny. I'm pretty pumped about that. It's like a, I'm going to call that a hit. I'm learning my terminology here. A hit is, uh, I know it's like an authentic or a relic or it's autograph or something, but it's David Ortiz rookie I just found. That's a hit to me. Eli Marrero. It's weird, like on the rookie ones, it's throwing me off because on the rookie ones it says rookie in the same spot where it usually has their name. And then it puts their name over here. So I'm, <laughs> I'm reading it going, his name's Rookie? That's not his name. Oh, Bubba Trammell. That'd be cool if I found another uh, big poppy in here, wouldn't it? There's a Rivera. I don't know what Rivera's rookie year was. Looks like 94, maybe 95. Hang on to that one. JT Snow. There's a Smoltzy. Brad Osmus, Derek Bell. Sweet, that was a nice little run of uh, crappy scorecards. Kevin Seitzer, Eric Karos. These are Pacific cards. Wally Joyner, Mickey Morandini, Tony Clark, what is that? Got like a see-through thing in it or something. That's weird. It's not numbered or anything. Tim Nehring, Dave Winfield, David Cohn, Barry Larkin, Oral. All right, what are these? So 99 Skybox Thunder. Orlando Hernandez, El Duque, El Duque rookie card. I doubt it's worth anything, but I'll throw that in the pile just in case. It is rookie, so. John Rocker. Wow. <laughs> oh, that guy was crazy. Here's more of those scores. Ray Ordonez was an amazing fielder. Hideki Arabu. Mike Messina, again, playing outfield or something is uh, Mike Messina. There's a Conseco from the Blue Jays. Some more fancy shiny cards, Tony Clark and Todd Helton. This is kind of fun. All right, what do we got here? Fleer Greats. Bob Lemon. Well, I don't know if these are worth anything. I doubt it, considering they just look like everyday cards. Willie Stargell. There's a Wade Boggs. I add that to my Wade Boggs collection. Rod Carew. Cecil Travis. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Tops. 2004 Tops. Barry Zito. I'm such in like a time machine. I'm like. 2004, that must have been his rookie year. Oh no, it was, he had already pitched for like five years. <laughs> uh, Larry Walker. Oh yeah, he played for like ever. AJ Burnett. Nope, same thing. Leaf.
Cecil Fielder. I have a ton of Cecil Fielder autographs. He was one of the players, no matter, whenever I would send cards to the stadium for him to sign, he would always send them back. Always. Harold Baines went to the hall, I think, right? There's a Bill Dorn. So did he play for Houston? Yeah, yeah, there he is. He played for Tucson. All right. Thought so. All right. Another stack done. Now, I don't know what's in these rows. Let's see. 96. Man, I just have cards, like, from every which way. And, you know, I didn't know about the whole hobby pack, retail pack thing. So most of these packs probably came from Target, you know, or something. I don't even know if they were doing inserts and stuff yet at this point. Um, I just remember, was it 90 Donruss when they did those? like reflective cards or something and people were buying those things up by the cases looking for those things saw a Sid Bream card there a while back he used to make fun of my friends it was a huge Barry Bonds fan talking about how awesome he was in the outfield I was like dude he couldn't even throw out Sid Bream at home plate with a knee brace on <laughs> I'm sure you Braves and um, Pirates fans know exactly what I'm talking about Rico Bronia. Rookie Mark Thompson. Future Foundation Juan Acevedo. Rookie Andrew Lorraine. Dude, he looks like he's already like 30 in that picture. Michael Tucker. He was good for a spell. Lee Smith. Man, I loved watching him, especially when he was a cubby. Todd Van Boppel. He was supposed to be so amazing coming up. And something that was probably before Tommy John might have got hurt and then that was it I don't I don't really know Albert Bell that guy was such a jerk another Caminiti these are nice performers RBI leader Albert Bell Pokey Reese. Let's see what kind of randomness I have in this next deck. Mickey Tendleton. Nice. 